How high does a ball go that you throw in the air with a speed of 20 meters per second? So we drew the picture up here. There's you, you threw something up in the air. We know the initial velocity is 20 meters per second, but because we're throwing it upward, it's gonna get slower and slower and slower. Because as we know, anything that we throw up in the air, the acceleration is down 9.8 meters per second squared. We wanna know how high this thing is going. So we're gonna use kinematics to do that. We have to pull our numbers out of the problem. So D is the question mark. The initial velocity is 20 meters per second. When it gets to its highest possible point, the final velocity is going to be zero and the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We're gonna pick the equation that does not have time in it because that's the thing that we don't have and don't care about. So that would be VF squared equals V naught squared plus two A D. We're solving for D, so we're gonna to have to rearrange this equation a little bit. We do that, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, backwards. So we're gonna get rid of the addition first. So we're gonna to have to subtract V naught squared to the other side of our equation. That means on the right side, V naught squared cancels, leaving me with VF squared minus V naught squared equals two a, D. Now I can do the division to get 2A out of my equation on the right side, divide by 2A on both sides. The 2 and the A cancel on the right, and that leaves me with VF squared minus V naught squared divided by 2A will get me D. I'm going to plug in my numbers. VF is just 0 minus V naught was 20. We still have to square that number, divided by two times negative 9.8 meters per second squared. 20 squared is 400, 9.8 times two is 19.6. They're both negative, because I'll have zero minus the, two, the 20 squared, and two times negative 9.8, and the negative in the top, and the negative in the bottom, will cancel out, giving me a positive number, which makes sense, because I'm throwing it upward, and upward is a positive number. If I plug all that into my calculator, I should find a positive height of 20.4 meters for how high I throw the object.